wins ends is uh, uh, also uh, a, a great uh, advocate for social justice. Uh, he's out of the uh, Montgomery County area, and his organization has done a lot to address uh, unfairness and challenges of issues and victim rights and that sort of thing. My name is Greg Wims, the founder of the Victims' Rights Foundation. We started the organization in 1996, and we're 25 years old today. Three young women were murdered, and their bodies were thrown out on the agriculture reserve over in Greenbelt in Prince George's County. And at the time, which was 25 years ago, there was really no organization to help the families, especially black families. And it was the first time that in recent memory that we could tell that three women of color who were black women were actually killed. So we started the organization to help those three families and we've been doing the same thing for 25 years. It was only by the grace of God that we started. Um, I was an activist in the community before this happened. I was actually the president of the NAACP uh, in the state of Maryland. And so uh, when I saw this on the news, had no idea about who the families were, and no one contacted me, but I knew, and I say by the grace of God, that somebody had to do something. We deal with mostly victims of crime, whether it's domestic violence, uh, unfortunately gun violence or murders. And the black community now, 25 years later, know who we are. They have seen us in t on TV or faith leaders or whoever have talked about us. My whole life, basically, has been about organizing and bringing especially the black community together so that we can make things better for our community. And as it turned out, 25 years later, we've helped thousands of victims, not only in this area, but actually globally. This is actually a great honor for me because we don't look for recognition. Uh, we do it because we, we thank God again gave us this ability to do it. But Judge Williams is one of my heroes because he was one of the first black federal judges uh, in the state of Maryland. And I remember very well him on many cases, seeing him in the media. And for him to recognize us, a group that works in the justice field, helping victims of crime, it's a great honor for me to get this award and for the Victims' Rights Foundation. Thank you.